My name is Michael Elliott Ward Swamp, and I'm testifying on the behalf of Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm just making this video right quick because uh, it's it's from God. God made me a prophet. A prophet is a person that God handpicks to educate in the meaning of life, the reality of existence. He's just people that he trusts to convey in perfect truth, his truth, the things that he shows them, dreams, visions, revelations, communicates with them, tells them future events, uh, and educates us and turns us into teachers. So he really revealed this to me about a year ago, year and a half, and I said, um, the Bible says we have uh, one father, you're in heaven, one teacher, you're the Christ, you may be an end-time prophet, Lord, go wild with wisdom, discernment, and understanding, and divine revelation, but make Ecclesiastic 7, verse 16 and 17, void in all of our lives, people doing his will. Um, so I ask him for the power of faith and how the devil tries to use it against him, that in Jesus, in his name, um, in Jesus' name. So he's been teaching me. About the day, a day before, everybody went crazy knowing the coronavirus was getting bad. Like, the, the day before, when there was a couple more things on the shelves, uh, I I got the last little couple things that I could get on the shelves. I come back, so the next day, it's like, coronavirus, stay social distance and stay away from people. Crazy, crazy, pandemic, death and shit. Excuse my language. <laughs> but, um, that day... I got really sick the day that it's like the abounding on the TV coronavirus coronavirus social distancing I got really sick um and I was wary a little bit about what if I got the coronavirus like already um but God was revealing to me that it was the devil put in it put in it in my head that if if you so if there's the coronavirus killing people death pandemic and you start feeling sick one morning and you start thinking you have the coronavirus you can legit uh, you can attract it to yourself so if you feel sick in this time beyond measure the first very first thing you should think is i ate something wrong i didn't drink enough water last night i ate something bad uh, uh that didn't agree with my stomach whatever but don't believe it's the coronavirus you know like do your research always pray and have faith Ask God to make you immune to the coronavirus. Ask him to preserve your faith, to make it amplify and then preserve it for all believers everywhere. Um, uh, but it happened again today. <coughs> oh, I got really sick again today. And instantly, God, my faith has gotten really strong with God. And I said, he instantly revealed to me. I um, didn't, I ate a half a piece of pizza that was like this big, a square, like this big packed full of pepperoni for such a small piece of pizza i drank like no water and i got insomnia last night and i didn't sleep i, I went to sleep late it was weird what happened to my my body this happened the day uh when the coronavirus got wild too uh i'll eat something like that and then i'll drink water to hydrate my body in the morning and i'll activate whatever i ate the night before in my stomach that makes me feel nauseated and it's a, a demon spirit um so I just had faith. Abba, I know what you told me. Thank you for doing that for me. You didn't have to do that. I'm grateful that you told me and didn't let me uh, forget anything about what happened last night. I didn't drink no water, pizza, pepperoni, um, and how he has been specifically teaching me about anything I ask him for. And this last thing is the power of faith and how the devil tries to use it against him. <clears throat> I, you can attract negative things to you if you believe in them. And the devil is sitting right there thinking, you know you have the coronavirus, you know you have the coronavirus, and you can't stop thinking about it. It's because there's a demon next to you, or it's the devil doing it himself. And it, you can attract it to you if you think that. So if you do get sick for any reason, I'm telling you, you probably don't even have the coronavirus. But there are the people that feel sick, and then they're probably attracted to themselves by believing and having faith. Faith is very powerful. It's really all of God's power that he allows us to use great with a grateful heart. But the devil, faith is powerful in general. So if you believe in something even negative, you can attract it to yourself. Um. <clears throat> anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm standing right there, like right in front of, right here. And I was holding my little cup of Kool-Aid right there. And, um, all of a sudden, I, I took a drink. I'm watching Money High Season Part Four. It's boss, and um, I felt that this demon it goes right. It's a specific type of demon of sickness, and it goes right here. It's like right here, and it just it focuses and meditates. It's all of its power to acquire this huge phlegm, uh, mucus 
orange mucus sickness ball inside of you to make you feel sick. Um, uh, so I, I drank this stuff. I threw up a couple of uh, the pepperoni pizza stuff uh, before. And I didn't, didn't want my friend to get scared. I said, I don't got the coronavirus. I'm telling you, it's just the devil trying to make me think I have the coronavirus. But no, I didn't drink enough water last night. I ate this disgusting pizza. Uh, and then uh, I took a drink, watched Money Heist. And then all of a sudden, I feel it go directly to this area that the demon keeps the liquid from getting to <clears throat> to keep me sick. Because if you hydrate that mu mucus ball, it messes up everything the demon's doing when, when it's focusing all of its evil power of sickness in that area. You completely kind of like dilute it so you don't feel as Ill, Ill. especially if you pray and have faith and don't believe it's coronavirus. And instantly, when I felt it go all up in that area, I heard a demon go, <sighs> and it was right next to me, like backed away from me. Like I, with, with my faith and time and doing what the Holy Spirit was telling me to do, which was drink water. Make yourself throw up and then drink water uh, and keep throwing it up until all that little gray stuff you see in your vomit is out of your system. <laughs> and that's what I did. Um, anyway, um, the end is near. God is real. Pray for immunity to the coronavirus for all believers everywhere, um, especially prophets, saints, people doing God's will. Ask God to weed out and to give everybody a discernment of truth when it comes to these videos. People that really come testifying in the name of Jesus and people who don't. Um... Oh, uh, repent. It's vital to being a Christian. The end is near. God is real. The devil hates you perfectly. God loves you perfectly. The devil hates you perfectly. Um, uh, talk to God and he will, if you prove yourself to God, God will prove himself to you. Talk to him. He hears you. Remember, it's not like sleeping when your heart stops beating. God bless.